Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, it's Laura here. I'm going to go over a quick uh, tutorial on adding an event to the events page. Um, I'm not showing my face. I'm still recovering from a wisdom tooth surgery. So we'll just look at the screen instead. Um, so for context, um, if I go to the marketing website slash events, um, this is the page that I'm referring to. Um, this has some videos at the top, um, but the bread and butter of this page is each of these individual events that are sorted by date. And then you can filter based on like region or location. Um, so I'm just gonna be adding one of these cards. Um, a request came through to add a uh, view day 2023 to this, uh, to this page. Um, and all of that content now lives in Contentful. Um, so this is Contentful. Um, I will have other videos out. Um, the digital experience team is gonna be recording a bunch of onboarding to kind of uh, get your bearings in, in this tool. Uh, Cause there's a lot of, uh, a lot of UI, a lot of interfaces to kind of get used to. Um, but for the sake of this video, um, to edit an event, we have a bunch of content types. So these are types of content. Um, you might see a form, you might see a hero that appears at the top of the page. And all of these are put together to build um, all the pages on the marketing site. Um, so I'm gonna use this handy dandy event type. Um, you can see that there are a bunch of events that already existed um, here. So we're just gonna kind of follow what each of those um, do. Um, so I'm going to go up here and add an entry event type. And I'm brought to this um, screen. Uh, and this is where I'm going to add all the information. Uh, the internal name should just be something kind of descriptive um, for, so that you can quickly see it on that other screen I was just on. I'm just going to use the title, um, View Day 2023, pop that in here. And I'm also going to use that as the name. Um, I'm going to go in here and it has a type of conference. Um, so we'll go back over here. We're going to choose that in format value um, conference. Um, and then the date here, November 10th, 2023. Um, I'll just grab that. I think this is actually a date picker. Um, yeah, so November 10th, 2023, same end date, November 10th, 2023. Um, there's a date with time value here. That's not really for this type. This is um, like for uh, some of our events, there's a countdown component um, that counts down to the event and you need an actual starting time for that. So um, that's not required here. Um, and then I'm gonna add this uh, description. up in the description section. What else do we have here? Uh, the location. Where are you here? I think this is right. Uh, and then region, we'll go here. And then the URL here. Okay, I believe that's what we want. I'm just going to go back and check. I want to make sure that I'm using the right location here. Um, so this is a, a draft right now. Nothing is, is live on the site. Um, so I'm going to leave it in draft mode and just go back to this list of events and pick something else that I know is a, a, a standard event. I just go in here. Yeah, so they put the location here um, as uh, the location and not this type of location, I might look into and see why why we have duplicate of what those are both used for. Um, but otherwise, I think we've got everything here. Um, most of this other stuff is used for um, other event types, um, not necessarily for the events page. We're trying to make these components to be uh, reusable across um, other pages. So like if we have the um, AWS reInvent page, we can also build that page with with some of this, this content. So um, we'll keep it simple here. Um, so now you'll see that if I look for a draft item in here, there she is. Okay, draft by me. Um, so I'll go back in here, uh, double check that everything looks good. Uh, view day, view day 2023 format. I'm gonna say that this is ex uh, external event. It's not something that we're doing internally. Uh, view day description, we've got start date, end date. We've got um, the location, the region and the URL. I think that's all we need here. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and publish. And um, I know this is kind of anticlimactic. We're still building out things that'll kind of show um, a live version of the site, um, but this will get picked up with the next pipeline. The build will start and we should see this live on the site. Um, so I'm gonna pause the recording and kind of wait for that to happen. Uh, and then um, we'll finish it off. Okay, uh, whoops, where's my Zoom? Where are we here?
Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so for the sake of speed, like that uh, pipeline is still running. I'm just going to go and show that we can see this uh, locally. Um, I booted up the program locally. Um, this is our website. Uh, and order here we go. Uh, view day 2023. So locally, this is I uh, created a new call to Contentful, um, pulling the latest data from Contentful that has been published. Uh, we saw that get published a minute ago. Um, and uh, it's pulling that new information, has automatically um, slotted it into the date um, sort. And now this is, uh, the pipeline is running and this should be live within, you know, a couple of minutes. Um, so that concludes, I guess, a really rough overview of adding an event uh, to the events page. Um, I know that we're working on getting people access to Contentful. Um, in the meantime, our team can help make these updates, um, especially since uh, it's hard to preview them uh, within Contentful at the moment. Uh, so we're working on that as an improvement as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully this helped. Thanks.